Welcome to this short demonstration of Arizona State University's Dashboards in Action. The dashboard I intend to show you is the tool that the Business Intelligence team uses to monitor usage and adoption of the dashboard systems that have been deployed at ASU. This dashboard puts business intelligence on top of business intelligence environment. I like to call this putting BI on top of BI. This screen shows several boxes of information, or as we call them, KPIs, meaning key performance indicators, that we can review. These KPIs help tell us a story about dashboard usage at ASU. The top two KPIs give us an idea of usage over time. The left KPI shows monthly usage over the past several years. You can see that there appears to be an upward trend in the chart, which is a good sign. Dashboards are being used. The right KPI shows daily usage over the past several months. Notice that we have colored the bars representing Mondays red. This is a technique known as creating pre-attentive variables. This helps us interpret the data much easier, especially when looking at the data on a weekly basis. I can estimate we have about 700 hits a day on the dashboard with very little activity over the weekend. Moving down, I see the most popular dashboards over the last month. In this case, the Super Report, a dashboard that combines financial and HR data is the most popular, with the retention dashboard not far behind. Notice that the dashboard name is in red. In the case of ASU's dashboard, this usually signifies that I can drill deeper into the data. We will come back to this KPI shortly. In the Web Browser's KPI, I see what browsers are being used to access the dashboards. This is important information to know, especially as we troubleshoot and do quality assurance testing on the dashboards. We can drill into the individual browsers to see what versions are being used. In the case of IE, version 8 seems to be in the lead. The other two KPIs on the page show the top 10 departments and the top 10 users over the past 30 days. This is nice information to know to see who the top users are and the de top departments using the dashboards. Going back to the dashboard statistics KPI, we can drill into the individual dashboards to get more information about them. As we scan this page, we have duplicated the monthly usage graphic from the summary page so we can see usage pattern for this individual dashboard. Good sign, usage is trending up. We've also created some information about our perceived adoption based on current titles and departments of existing users. Maybe a little questionable methodology, but it gives us a good idea on possible users that we can do outreach to. We can run a report of possible users, not adopters of the dashboard, who might not know about them, and we can contact them to give them more information. We can also see from the calendar heat map what time of any given month users are accessing this information. For the super report, we see heavy usage about seven, or seven to ten days into the month. Going back to the prior month, we see that same type of same type of usage. So we wonder why that is and as I ask around it appears that this has to do with month-end closing work and the reconciling of data at month's end. We can also see the heaviest users of the dashboard which can be very helpful as we get feedback about the dashboard. They can tell us how to improve what is currently being served up on the dashboard or a good source of ideas as you expand the dashboard development. Looking down the left navigation, this BI on top of BI dashboard includes the ability to see who currently has access to the dashboard, the connections to the various data sources, the SQL used by each dashboard to get the information in, the, in each page, peak time, peak usage times during any given day, as well as recent usage. This dashboard has become an invaluable tool to the business intelligence at ASU in addition to the trustee stewards of the dashboards. 
And it is a good example of how one would navigate one of the many dashboards that AF ASU have developed over the years. Thanks again for taking the time to watch the video. Please visit the dashboard homepage, dashboard.asu.edu.